Hi dear creatives, I'm Barbara Vaccari from Sean Petit Creative Team and for my new year project I was inspired by a wooden block to represent the yin and yang energy. Here's my supply list and if you have any doubts or questions please do not hesitate to ask. So let's start. First step first, I darken a little my uh, cube sides. So I decided to add to my palette uh, some uh, raw amber acrylic paint. Mine was from DecoArt, but you can use uh, uh, every uh, dark color as well, like black or uh, dark chocolate or everything else. If you don't have acrylic paint, you can use Distress Ink as well. And as you can see, I use a flat brush. I uh, water it down a little my paint and uh, had some brush strokes uh, just on all my cube edges. As I didn't know a lot about in a young symbology, I wanted to get into its meaning and I love to read that it reminds us of harmony and balance, to accept ups and downs, to embrace dualities, good times and bad, joy and challenges. That's why I thought it could be a very good start to focus on for my New Year prompts. If you are impatient like me in your creating process, use heat gum to speed up, as I've done. These are some gel printed papers I created on a previous project and you will find the entire video to my YouTube channel if you like to see it. To emphasize the opposites in my cube, I decided to print my college pack both in color and in black and white. Here, I'm just to start assembling my cube sides, making some tries by pressing down paper. And to check my result, I use a little piece of rolled tape in the back so it's not fixed yet and I'm still free to make my changes. Now it's time to check my result and if I'm happy with it, I start gluing it. So here I'm using some gel medium in the back and then in the front to just to be sure that my uh, college paper is uh, well fixed. Here's I'm um, cutting down uh, all the excess of paper just to resize it to the, to the cube surface. And here I'm cutting with my scissor the image of the hydrangea, which I love it so much. It's my, I think it's my favorite flower 
um, at all. And as you can see, uh, I don't have a previous project. I'm just working side by side, just reminding myself to remind myself that I'm working on opposite. So as you can see, uh, while I prepare a color side, I then um, had a black and white one. I always start each of my work, whether it is a journal page, a single sheet or abstract, by collaging. I found that this process is highly relaxing and meditative. And it helps to get into a creative process with much commitment and attention to detail. Then splattering is a must. <laughs> For this red side, I wanted to add texture, so I experimented with embossing powder. Mine is from uh, Recollections. And this uh, um, Dahlia flower stencil, which I thought could be perfect to add dimension to my cube side. So the trick here is to keep the stencil um, lay down to the to the surface and uh, I decided to uh, brush on some gel medium with a flat brush I could have done it with the Versamark ink pad as well but I'm experimenting, so I wanted to try with the gel medium as well. And the result was uh, uh, quite satisfying. So here I'm going very slow because uh, it was very important to keep all the details of the flower As I told you, uh, probably with a dimension pass would be much better. I don't know. Uh, I will try in another in another place in another surface for sure, <laughs> because I'm I'm curious about the results. So I will let you know, and and you can do the same with me. So I'm pouring down my my embossing powder. This is a ivory color which could be stunning on, uh, on the red, um, on the red side. Trying to... Mm. Half and half. With a dry brush, I will take all the exceeding powder off before melting it. I've chosen this to be my, the young side. And uh, I found a, a lettering on a commercial, which I loved, so I cut it. And, and I then will add it to, to finish my cube side.
just the hydrangea in black and white glue down on a white surface with the lettering scribble and doodles added and my in a young cube is ready to spread energy and balance I hope you like my project. I hope I inspired you a little. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you have doubts, if you have questions, if you uh, want some more infos, please don't hesitate to ask and to write in the comments. I will be very, very pleased to read them all.